it is time for possibly the last fit strawberry vinegar stream. But if you're watching this, if you're watching this not live, then you will know because it will say final down there, or maybe it won't. Either way, you'll know. I don't. I'm recording this live. So we're thriving. I believe I'm on like. Day four or five now? I think we're going to day five, just there. So there shouldn't be too much left of the game. <coughs> I have to get back into the voices again. I'm, I probably should have warmed up my voice before stream. But I like, just finished dinner and got everything set up there. So you'll have to bear with me for a moment. <coughs> Rye, wake up! We're going on a skill trip! Oh, this is a surprise. This is the first time Lucia has woken up before me. And she was sick yesterday. And she, and she was sick yesterday, too. She went to bed without a fuss last night and fell asleep before 9 o'clock. I don't want to let Lucia use my bed, but I thought it might I thought it I thought it'd be too mean to refuse her when she was sick. Maybe that's why I feel so tired this morning. I know a skill trip, the most exciting of experiences from your mind. For now, like golden time. I just sleep on the futon instead, and I'm not used to them. Now my back hurts. <clears throat> <laughs> right, your house look, looks all messy. That's because I just woke up. I know, but I've never seen it look like that before. I feel like I'm witnessing something very, very rare. Like an A++ rank. I have no idea what A++ stuff is. Is she just putting random stats out of thin air? And what are we measuring this A++ against anyway? If seeing me with messy hair is a A++ rank, <laughs> how would you categorize real miracles, like visions from God or water turning to wine? Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe they should be an S rank. Is that, high is that higher or lower than A++++? It's higher, obviously. S stands for special, after all. It may stand for special. But it also stands for stupid. You should be careful with you. <laughs> uh, you're right. I try to study even harder in the future, right? Says S comes way, way after A in the alphabet. Guys, she's really giving another. Um, actually, S becomes a far after A in the alphabet. Therefore, it would be worse if we're going from the A to F scale. So I don't love that for her. I think Lucia's scale might be a bit off here. It assigns far too much importance to the mediocre and the mundane. Well, whatever. I'm probably thinking about this too much. Lucia doesn't put any thought into her silly babblings in the other day. You seem really... You seem really chipper, given it so early. Of course I am. I already said. It's a skill trip. Uh, I've never been on... I've never been on one before. That's why I absolutely refused to come to my sickness last night. Does that mean you fought off your stomach ache with the power of your will? That's right. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Belief is the most powerful force in the whole universe. I'll never give up my ideals, no matter what. Spoken like a true anime protagonist. But I think that's the point. So if demons spout cliche lines like that too, who would have thought it? Huh? I was just quoting from a manga you have in your room, right? Wait a minute. M manga? What manga? Um, the one of the boy made of swords who plays in a war over a holy cup with lots of well and accurate representation of historical figures? It was really cool. W was it now? Yeah. <coughs> Christ. My voice is not feeling it today. Give me a sec. Yeah, uh, I liked all the fight scenes. I think I think you'd be in, I didn't think you'd be into that sort of thing though. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I clenched my fist hands and fists. They're trembling. L Lucia, when did you start searching for my room? When I was sick yesterday, of course. B but I thought you were asleep all day. I slept a lot, but not all the time. 
had to find something to do when I woke up, or I would have gotten bored. So she decided to rifle through my room and just so happened to find that stack of old manga I thought I'd hidden under my bed. I'm gonna think about it. Why was she why was she looking under my bed at all? What did she think she, I was hiding down there? Manga, obviously. Lucia? Yes, what is it, Rai? Please don't talk about that manga to anyone else, alright? Huh? Why not? Is, is it meant to be secret that you like them? I, I don't like them. I grew out of them ages ago. I, I just kept them around because it would be a pain to throw them away. That's all. Fuck up. I'm far too mature for children's things like that. I mean, I'm born of my sword? What does that even mean? That's not proper English. It's not proper anything. But you think it sounds... But don't you think it sounds cool? I guess it sounds a little cool when that character says it. But if I wrote that in a test, I'd get a zero. That's so unfair. <laughs> Are you embarrassed, Rai? I'm not embarrassed. Your face is turning red. Ugh. <laughs> You're so cute, Rai. It's like unlimited blushing works. My cheeks turn even redder. My eye, my right eye twitches. Please shut up. If she doesn't, I won't be held responsible for my action. These two are so cute. Oh, this miso soup is, a, is delicious. Oh, 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 it's time, it's time. Calm down, everybody, it's happening, it's happening. <clears throat> uh, looks like you're in high spirits today. Of course I am. We're going on a school trip, isn't that right, Rai? Stay still. You don't need to yell. I'm well aware that we're going on a trip. But I've never been on a human tr school trip before. I can't help it. Human? Dad suddenly pauses, his forehead furrowing. The expression on his face is unusually serious. His eye is hard like stone. A cold chill creeps down my spine. But why does the atmosphere feel, so, atmosphere feel so serious all of a sudden? Has Dad finally noticed how strange Lucia is? Did all the puzzle pieces finally slot together? When Lucia first forced her way into my house, I tried to tell my parents about her unusual background. They didn't listen to me. They refused. Now that a few days have passed, however, I finally begun to get used to Lucia's company. If Dad suddenly realizes that there's something wrong with Lucia, will that be a big problem? What will Mum and Dad do to her? Will they kick her out of our home? Of our home? Maybe call the police? No. Since she's a demon, calling the police wouldn't be enough. Maybe they call a priest from the local church and try to exorcise her from existence from a magic circle. Th this this isn't right. This isn't it, right? We came far we came so far together, Lucia and me. But has this ruse finally come to an end? Is Dad gonna point a finger at Lucia in a dramatic burst of hot blooded spirit and firmly declare her once and for all to be a rogue, an imposter, an unwanted interloper? Lucia, you... are you sure? Are you saying you're not a human? Yep, I've already told you, right from the very beginning, that I'm not human. I'm a demon. That's... something like that. That something like that, though. I sit there, the blood frozen in my veins, waiting. I mean, if the quiet, peaceful world that built up over the past few days to fall apart and the shower of broken hopes and dreams. S something like... Something like that is no good, no matter how poorly you think of yourself. Uh, it's too tragic to think that a cute young girl like yourself doesn't even believe she's a human being. Wait a minute, what? Lysia. Yes. <laughs> well, you may call yourself a demon. I will always see you as a kind, gentle girl. Don't think for a second that I, you've been a burden on us. I've had a lot of fun having you in our home, and I like cooking for you. You didn't take advantage of our hospitality, and you're certainly no demon. If anything, I'm the real demon who performs my hospitality upon you so unashamedly. Yes, you do have a habit of that, dear. I think you're forcing yourself upon the poor girl. I think, I think you're forcing yourself upon the poor girl right now. Uh, ah, Lucia, are you alright? I, um, well... Lucia stares at the wall, her eyes glazed and empty as though she's just witnessed a bloody battlefield. In the sense she has. 
but she bore witness to it as she gazes into Dad's eyes, while undoubtedly the right uh, was undoubtedly the sorry sight of his dwindling self-respect being crucified. I, I'm sorry, Lucia. Did I frighten you? I, I didn't say too much, did I? Yuki, what's wrong? What did I do? I think you may have scared the poor, poor girl, dear. That was quite the display. But, but I, I was just trying to be understanding. The first time, the first step to achieving happiness is to recognize oneself as a human being. It's just love and affection, right? Well, I wonder. Did you say those things to Lucia because you wanted to convince her of her own self-worth? Or were you saying them for your sake? I, um, that's kind of a complicated question. But maybe got a bit carried away. Just a little. <laughs> Remember to get rid of Goku here, so it's not chilling there for the next 20 minutes. Do you guys hate it when, like, you've got a drink on a coaster, and you lift it up to drink it, and the coaster comes with it? But then halfway through, like, halfway to your mouth, the coaster falls off? Is it the worst thing? Either pick a, pick a struggle. Either stay on the drink the whole time. Or just don't stick to it. I fetched the last block of tofu and my miso soup. Pop it out of my mouth. Then get on my feet. I'm gonna pop it off with sticks. No. It's effort. I have to go to school now. I don't wanna be late. See you later. They both look so cute together. <laughs> the baby. I take I take hold of Lucy's hand and pull her to her feet. She doesn't resist. She doesn't do much of anything really. She lets me drag her along, uh, as though she had no muscles to her bones, no strength in her body, and no free will at all. I guess if it happens when you have to deal with my dad, he's pretty shy, but he can be intense in his own way. Lucia, I. I'm really so I really am sorry. And you're still trying to apologize to her? Don't be so selfish, dear. W what do you mean? Aren't you burdening her if you get more worries? It's always better to see people off with a smile and a wave, not a sad face like that. I yes, y you may be right. I'll do my best to say farewell with a charming smile from now on. Let me talk about the lesbians the way I talk to stray cats and they're that cute, okay? They're just they're adorable. Let me have this. They're little babies. Little baby gays. <clears throat> Good luck, dear. I promise to cheer you on even when everything goes wrong and you end up crushed in the pit of the deepest despair. Thank you, Yuki. I can always count on you. You're welcome, dear. Okay, I know I've mentioned this before, but really, but. Now I really want to know. What just what in King in King Arthur's good name is that with my parents? Well you see, um girl boss girl boss actress uh and uh male wife. <clears throat> Lucia and I walked down a familiar path to school. Alongside the winding riverbank. It's a warm day and the river is a clear blue, uh, crystal blue. It flows steadily, carrying silverfish along within the scales, flashing in the sun. A few but a few ducks, a few, yeah, a few ducks bob along the surface of the water, like the yellow ones you can play with in the bathtub. <coughs> These ducks are slightly noisier than the plastic counterparts. It really is pretty. You can feel my worries melting away one by one, like snow disper dispersing into the atmosphere. Hey, Rai. What is it? I was just wondering, um, what happens on the school trip anyway? Did I already tell you? We tramp all the way up into the mountains to pick berries, and we tramp all the way back down again. It rained a lot last year, and the paths were all muddy, but we had to go to the mountains anyway. Because that's what my school has always done, and you just can't beat bureau you just can't beat bureaucracy. <laughs> you sound like a disgruntled salary man, right? I'm just cynical. 
How can I help it? When I'm when so many things in this world are so stupid. <laughs> I bet everyone looks stupid to you, since you're so smart. I uh, I get your traits, but I don't know if I'm that I'm not I don't know if I'm that smart. Not really. Yeah, there are smarter people. But you use so many long words, and you're only nine years old. I I don't think I don't think knowing a lot of words makes you smart. I don't use those words. Uh, that's how you use those words to really count. Maybe. You seem really smart to me, to me just now, though. Well, you're easy to impress. <laughs> Maybe you're right, but I've never met a girl quite like you before. You're only saying that because I'm the first human you've ever spoken of. <clears throat> I find you interesting, even if you were the thousands or millions of human I've spoken to. You're a lot fun. You're a lot of fun to be with. I look away, trying to hide my flushed face. Aww. Well, thank you, I suppose. <laughs> You're welcome. So, Rai? Yes. How do we get into the mountains? We don't have to walk there, do we? Of course not. Your school would love making us walk 50 miles. Uh, if we would cut down on the expenditure. That would probably kind of child abuse. Hmm? But 50 miles isn't that much. I could walk that in half an hour, maybe. Uh, half an hour? Yes, is that really so abnormal? Do you even need to ask? Does Lucia really not understand how unusual she is? So if we're not going to walk, how do we get into the mountains? Do you have a chariot? Chariot? That's right, black chariots pulled by skeletons and horses. They're the one Hades used to whisper Persephone away to the underworld. They're really fashionable right now. Must have one for ages. Those skeletal horses are hard to come by. They're so expensive! So we're making some Greek mythology into this as well, aren't we? My already hazy image of hell is growing more and more distorted by the second. Nothing Lucia says adds up. Where's one of the chariots? What century do you think this is? The century shouldn't matter. Chariots are very elegant. <laughs> no matter what time period you live in. Maybe in hell, but I don't think that would work so well here. The roads aren't built far. Oh, I see. That's kind of sad. I pause. I pause. So, if you don't use chariots, how do what do you use? You don't have your own Cerberus, do you? Not oh, good mythology, really. I try to get to terms with the fact that Hades and Persephone exist. So, don't go adding a colossal three-headed head dog into the mix. On top of that. <laughs> of course not. We don't have a Cerberus. One earth would own a Cerberus, and why are they? Why is there more than one? Well, it's quite simple. When one Cerberus loves another Cerberus very much, they. All right, all right, I get the general idea. You don't need to go into so much detail, huh? But Roberta taught me all about it a few weeks ago. I was really proud that I managed to learn something so complicated. Is she being serious? Sex education must be pretty lousy in hell. If she only learned about the birds and the bees a few weeks ago. Or as it were, the Cerberus and the Cerberus. I'm there like nine. Actually, to be fair, I had a pretty good idea what size was when I was nine. I mean, hell is overrun with monstrous dogs, uh, baying for blood with all three of their hideous heads. If I had no interest in going to hell before, I certainly don't know. So I certainly don't now. <gasps> That's the cutest fucking spot. <laughs> so it isn't Cerberus after all. Don't sound so disappointed. I already told you our school doesn't own a Cerberus. Why did you think it would? I don't know. A girl can dream big, can't she? I don't think any normal person would dream about owning Cerberus. This isn't, this isn't as exciting as I hoped, but I guess it'll do. I've never been inside one of these tin cans before either. It's not a tin can, it's a bus. But it looks exactly like a tin can. A massive tin can on wheels. Lucia points there. Lucia, Lucia has a point there. This bus is an ugly rectangular shape made of metal. Uh, and... Uh, and us Hikage elementary school students are crammed inside it like a can of sardines. One of our more eccentric teachers tries to uh, pry the bus up, but 
I don't really- it doesn't really work. A bus is still a bus, and they're probably planned attempts to make it look cute and cozy instead, and you feel ill. I don't like travelling at the best of times, but shut away inside the bus with the rest of my class is far too overwhelming. I can feel their eyes trained on me, observing me, the poisonous words dancing through the air like scattered pollen. I'm so glad this Sia looks better now. <clears throat> Isn't it fair, though? I wanted to sit next to her. Me too. Why did it have to be Sak Sakuraba? Why is it always Sakuraba? Because they're lesbians, obviously. She doesn't even like people. But he was wasted on her. Without my head. Punch my head. I don't usually agree with the rest of my class. I care so little about their opinions, there's nothing more than a faceless mask to me. But now I wonder. In this, in this case, literally. Maybe Lucia would have more fun if she stayed with her other classmates. Any of my other classmates. It must be so plain and boring compared to the rest of them. I don't say anything in class, and I don't go out to any after school clubs. I don't even have friends. None of this bothered me before, but it's hard to bother me now. Lucia only ever has been has only ever been positive about spending time with me, but maybe she's just being nice. How could a bright, bubbly girl like her, who captured the heart of my whole class in under a week, be a grumpy, gloomy girl like me? Hey, do you think Lucia's part? Hey, do you think I could be Lucia's partner for the rest of the day? That's a good idea. Maybe sitting with Sakuraba now that doesn't mean she wants to. Maybe she just didn't want to say no. Well, Sakuraba can be kind of scary. <laughs> we should go and ask her then. Let's liberate her from that tyrant. Tyrant? Is that how others see me? Really see me? Hey, Lucia. Mm hmm. Lucia turns her head. One of the boys from her class is talking to her. His face is so nondescript, I can't remember his name. Maybe it was Fuji something? <laughs> Fuji something. Do you know who you want to power up with for the trip yet? Yep, I'm gonna be with Rai, of course. That's because you're living with her, right? I know you don't want to hurt her feelings, but you don't need to stick with her so closely. Why don't you try talking to the rest of us? It may be fun. But I have t fun spending time with Rai, too. Are you sure about that? Don't you have some kind of... Don't you think she's kind of difficult? What do you mean? I mean, for a girl, she's kind of scary. I bow my head. I know I should reply, but I can't bring myself to... For baby. I can't say I blame Fuji for something. I know he doesn't like me, since I never interacted with him, but I've never given him anything to like. I mean, really would be happy if she went off of him. I'm not right for her, we're just too different. And yet... Scary? I don't think Rai's scary. Really? Not even a little bit? No, why would she? <laughs> why would I? I come from hell, and hell is filled with all kinds of horrible things. There are vengeful spirits, and piles of bones, and huge beasts made of fire with seven heads and ten horns, and that's not nearly as scary as Rai. Now, a beast with seven heads? That's right. I'm not scared of Rai at all. In fact, she's my very best friend in the whole world. She is? I, I am. Of course you are, silly. Let me stay at your home, and you made me eat all sorts of delicious food, and you talked to me when I felt sad, and you nursed me when I was sick, and you're a really nice person, Rai, the best. I see leans forward and takes my hands in hers. Her palms are warm, and uh, though being held by her is a little embarrassing, especially in front of my class, I can't quite bring myself to care. It's comforting. I inhale, my breath catches in my chest, and my throat feels dry. Why is my heart beating so fast? You know what, Rai? What? I really do love you. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. What just happened? It's been almost 10 minutes since Lucia since Lucia's proclamation, and my brain still can't process it. Is it some kind of dream? I would be tempted to believe it if I didn't feel so distinctly travel sick. It must be true. She said she loved me. But not just like, but love. My face turns red. My cheeks burn, and my heart thumps painfully inside my chest. How on earth am I supposed to react to this? I'm sure that Lucia manages to get Fuji something to leave me alone, but 
At what cost? You can hear him whispering about it even now. Did you see it? Did really did say? Did you see her really? Did was see her really did say love? She did. There was no there was no mistaking it. Not like, but not like, but love. Definitely love. Definitely love. That's that's so unfair. I wish Lucia would say that to me. Perhaps Lucia did not truly mean love. Who was unable to communicate her feelings in any other way? Even Japanese is not her first language. Ah, that must be some. That must be it. I'm sure it must be. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe I still have a chance after all. No way. When she said, she, when you said love, uh, she really didn't mean it. The aura in those two is unmistakable. See, this this random classmate can can see the chemistry. Aura. That's right. The the pale white lily colored aura of the two girls in love. <clears throat> I think they're in my seat. Why did this have to happen to me? Rai, Rai, you alright? You were really quiet the last 10 minutes. Does she need to ask? Isn't it obvious I'm not alright? I've been the center of attention, and a bold statement like you'll see has definitely got attention. Ah, uh, I need to make quick- I need to make notes quickly. I'm gonna turn this into an epic, original story detailing the true love between Pooh Shy. Sent to the schoolgirls with loads of money at Comma Kit. And a manga adaptation, apparently. This is just great. What should I do? We can't we can't scold the baby, not especially now. We thank the baby for supporting us. Um, I'm fine, really. Are you sure? I'm sure I just I feel a bit sick. I don't like traveling very much. <laughs> yeah, these roads are pretty bumpy. If I chariot is superior, really rich families have skeleton horses that can fly, so you don't even have to get struck in traffic. Oh, um, how wonderful? It really is. You're going to hell with me sometimes, so you can ride on one of those chariots yourself. <laughs> uh, thanks for the invitation. Uh, I'll be sure to remember you famous. us. So, that doesn't mean I'll act on it, but I'll remember all the same. As in every day you can get an invitation from a demon to come into the L that isn't accompanied by ominous thunder claps for Latin chanting. Yay! Thank you, Rai. And um thank you for defending me back there. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> it's no problem. I'd do anything for you, Rai. After all, you're my first ever friend. You, um... Yes? I look at Lucia hesitantly, my eyelashes fluttering. I'm not used to being open to my feelings and expressing my thoughts plainly and is rather difficult. My emotions are sealed over a full layer of ice, but they bubble their way underneath the surface like a Norwegian fjord. That's difficult, but I want to tell Lucia how I feel all the same. I think she deserves that much. Y you're my first ever friend, too. They're both so cute, I'm gonna melt! Huh? Yeah, same. Same random classmate. One of my classmates. A girl with braids and freckles who I think might be called My Mayura is watching us. Her face flushed uh, bright pink. <laughs> Mayura question mark. My absolute favorite thing in the whole world uh, is when visual novels do gags with character names. I just, it's just my favorite thing ever. I just make notes quickly. Innocent, awkward friendships, which later bloom into love, I think are incredibly popular. But what on earth are you talking about, Mayuri? I swear I don't understand half the things you say. Oh, so her name is Mayuri, not Mayura. I should have known. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm. It's just whenever I see two cute girls together, I can't help myself. There are far too many mainstream stories about male and female childhood friends who grow up to be lovers. There should be some stories like that about women too. See? Someone- she's- She's talking sense. Someone get- someone get this girl off a popular fanfic blog. Or something. Perhaps that's true, but I think we're too young for romance. It's shameless. <laughs> you say that, 
but you'd be surprised to know how much fanfiction on the internet was written by elementary school students. How do they know Mayuri? I don't even know what her name- I didn't even know what her name was until seconds ago, but I think she has a point. The internet is a very strange place indeed. Yeah, it is. Anyway. Wow, this place is so amazing. Look at this, right? I know what these fields look like. I've been here before. But I haven't. She just stands there with her arms spread out, staring out at the horizon. And it's very pretty, so strawberry fields. Can't deny these fields are pretty. A hidden, a hidden bower of strawberry plants tucked away amongst the mountains. The aesthetic experience is somewhat damned than the fantastic experience for this place. Went here for a school trip last year, too. Wandering around a leafy field with a wicker basket in my hand, parting strawberries to check whether they're ripe enough to pick or not. It was very exciting. How can you be that how can you be that enthused? It's not it's just a bunch of fields. Maybe a bunch of fields to you. But it's like a whole new universe to me. I've never been anywhere so green before. Well that much is true. It certainly is green around here. Not all of it though. I pointed some of the more uh bedraggled strawberry plants. Its leaves are sickly yellow and it's uh, ridden with and it's ridden with holes. I don't think this plant is going to last much longer. It'll probably die soon. I am such a pessimist. Why do you always have to look at the negatives? I wasn't trying to look at the negatives. I just happened to notice it. It's not my fault. Some of the plants may be a little, um, dead. That doesn't mean my enthusiasm is. They don't have anywhere- They don't have- You don't have- bleh. They don't have anywhere like this in hell. I can't imagine the climate down there would be good for farming. With all the fire and brimstone. You're right, how did you know? It was just a guess. <laughs> Even the air here smells nice. I can feel all my worries melting away. Ah, but this is no time for being sentimental. Let's make all these cute, delicious looking strawberries. Hold on a second. I need to do stuff. My hands is coming back. So, I was blowing this fidget cube I bought years ago. I can actually hear them screaming to me, saying, Lucia, we'll please eat me. Now that sounds like something from a horror movie. Come on, Ryan, let's go! See, I'm so Lucia looked completely enamored. I want to tease her, but her smile is so pure my words fall there. Oh. Her face is bright, almost dazzling. She's like a young maiden who's fallen in love for the first time. She probably is. No, both like nine. Well, she did say she loved me on the coach earlier. Did that have anything to do with the smell on her face? No, that's ridiculous. She hit my head, my face flushing. See, I might have said she loved me, but she couldn't have meant it. My god, girl. <laughs> she's too young to understand what that word means. Anyway, she isn't even a human, she's a demon. A demon being capable of love? It seems contradictory. Because his entire existence is contradictory. She contradicts the laws of modern science, rationality, and the good old-fashioned common sense. And yet, though she shouldn't exist, she still does. She definitely does. If she didn't, how could she be holding my hand like this? Aww. The babies are holding hands. Right, do you think these are ripe enough? I kneel down, examining a strawberry Lucy is pointing at with her index finger. The strawberry is a washed out light pink at the top and a pale green uh, at, the flatter, at the fatter end. Looking at it makes me feel kind of depressed. You should leave it alone. I don't think it's ready yet. Well, there's only one way to find out. Lucia plucks the unripe strawberry off the vine, straightens up and pops into her mouth. As soon as she does, her face turns pale. Right, it's really hard and sour. Of course it is, I told you it wasn't ready yet. Why did you ask me for advice if you had no intention of following it? B because I didn't know for sure. Well, now you do know. Why don't you spit it out? Because it would be a waste of food. I had to finish what I started. Even if she is a complete airhead, at least she has some sense of duty. And especially wasn't about weird things like this. You've been eating, you've been eating every single strawberry you see. You haven't seen a single one. 
but I need to taste if they're good before I put them in my basket. But by that point, it's too late. The strawberries are already gone. Honestly, do you even think before you act? N not really. That's boring. I want to live in the moment. Like, badan. Like, badan? I see a punch of the fist in the air. Her, her loud yells startles a few birds nearby, and they flap off with a series of alarm squawks. I don't even know what you're talking about, but I think... But, I, but thinking about... Uh, but, God. We love typos. Thinking about you give thinking about you're giving me a headache. Anyway, I have to we still have the lunches dad made me. Uh, we still have the lunches dad made. We don't even need to stuff your face with strawberries, we've ruined your appetite. Oh yes, lunch! I could eat that, couldn't I? No way. It's only 10 a.m. But I'm hungry now. She so pouts and stamps her feet. You should have known I'd want to eat lunch as soon as you brought it up. Maybe so, but I won't let you dis disregard normal meal times. You're, you're a human. Strictly speaking, she isn't, but she looks enough like one. I'm still it still counts. And not an animal. So you're saying I can't eat all my strawberries and can't eat my, any lunch either? No. And in that case, I'll just find something else to eat. Hey, where are you going? She so doesn't reply. She doesn't need to. Her actions speak louder than words. She has a running leap to a nearby tree, grabs hold of the lowest branch of her right hand. She pulls herself up to the trunk like a monkey, digging her feet into the rough bark for purchase. Come back down from there. If you fall, you'll get hurt. It's fine. I'm good at climbing things. I've climbed the red sulfur stacks in hell more times than I can count. Given Lucia's less than a spectacular grasp of rudimentary mathematics, I'm not sure if this feat is quite as impressive as she'd like me to believe. I don't care. This isn't a sulfur stack, it's a tree. Two are very different. It may be different, but it's the same principle. See, it pulls her up a little further up, herself a little further up the tree. Mrs. are surprisingly graceful and find myself being drawn to her despite myself. Then let's see, uh, say she was going to exact her revenge upon Mother Nature a few days ago. This is a spectacle part of her revenge. Is she trying to one-up nature itself, proving her inherent superiority by scaling this tree? <laughs> oh, look at the baby. Ah, it's just what I thought. It's an apple tree. No, of course she isn't. She didn't claim, didn't claim that tree to prove a point. She claims it up for the simple reason. The exact same reason which led to Mankame's discovery of fire. Good because she was hungry. Ah, oh, it really is good. The apple's so crunchy and it's all covered in dew. Do you want an apple too, Rai? I think I'll pass. Are you sure? It's really good, I promise. Here! I'm fine, thank you. Aw, oh, come on, Rai. The apples are really refreshing and they don't even have any worms. Well, I would hope not. I sigh. I'm not very hungry, but Lucia looks so expectant, I'd feel more- I'd feel mean to refuse her. Right, fine, I'll try one of them. Yay, you won't be disappointed. See, so it tosses the apple down to me. It arcs through the air, a bright red projectile. Catch it with both hands. It hits my palms with a satisfying thud. Surfaces the apple's is, uh, the apple is shiny. I can see my face reflected up in it. The apple is slightly smaller than those, uh, those found at a supermarket, and perfectly formed, not quite a neat sphere. A few bumps and bruises that mar its skin only make the apple more charming, however. It seems more natural, somehow. I don't even need to take a bite of, into the apple to taste it. Its scent is rich and enticing, and inhaling it make, makes my mouth water. <laughs> You're cute, Rai. Looks so happy, and overcome with an and over something so simple, too. I'm not happy. I wasn't even smiling. Maybe not, but I can see it in your eyes. M my eyes? What kind of cliche nonsense is this? How could you even see my eyes all the way up there? That's right. Your eyes look very warm and soft right now. They're toffee. No matter what you see, your eyes can't lie. Feeling to herself, Lucia takes the apple held in her hand and takes a bite out of it. 
The apple yields to her teeth and sharp sweet crunch. And even though we're here for, uh, we've been here for hours, you still don't have a, a single strawberry in your basket. <laughs> Lucia stares at her basket and gives it, gives it a shake. And the sad little emotion might make a bus a bustle a bustle bustle of strawberries appear inside it. It doesn't. <laughs> How did this happen? I picked so many. Where did all my beautiful strawberries go? Well, I wonder. It must have been sabotaged. It's witchcraft. You gonna pin this on a witch, even though you're a demon? I offer my condolences for any witches who may exist within our modern society. Seem to be the unfortunate scapegoats of all the world's woes, and even those of demons, apparently. Goku on God. See, Luca knows what it knows that. I've still been keeping up the fucking Goku gag this whole, this whole stream. This whole playthrough. Fair witches. Whatever they may, wh where, wherever they may be, they have my sympathy. Let's see it, however, it is not. Our teachers uh, let us keep the strawberries we picked during the trip. We said we could, we said, we said we could regard them as souvenirs of sorts. We'll get a class of just... Are these like wild strawberries? Or... Are these like someone... They look, the background looks like someone's farm. They've got little... Things like... why Are we just showing up here and stealing their shit? The most durable of souvenirs since strawberries have a short shelf life. But I don't think Lucia would appreciate any other kind of memento. Incidentally, Lucia perks up about her own parlay, par pal paltry, uh, read non-existent hall. After I said she could ask for a main, she's such a simple girl. She doesn't look quite as excitable right now, though. If anything, she seems exhausted. Lucia, you all right? I I'm okay. She yawns, her pale eyelashes falling shut. When the coach goes over a bump on the road, she starts, her body jerking and her eyes snap open again. I- I just- I'm just sleepy. Is it because you woke up so early? Um, maybe? <laughs> You're so silly. I you got so excited about our school trip, but you've tired yourself out. You should have taken it a bit easier since you were sick yesterday. But I couldn't. Why not? Because it would be my very first school trip with you, Rai. I don't want to go. To... I didn't want to waste it. I wanted to see lots of things and pick lots of berries and play with you. But now you're worn out. It was still worth it. <laughs> see, his laughter trails off, and her ashen eyelashes uh, flicker shut one more time. As it turns out, it is the last time. She falls to one side like a marionette with cut strings. Her head rests against my shoulder. Aww. Lucia? Hey, Lucia? I call her name, but she doesn't stare. She really must have been exhausted to fall asleep like that. Her eyes closed and her lips pursed. She almost looks like a doll. A life-sized doll with uncanny, uncannily human features, save for those horns and that tail, of course. <clears throat> I can hear her breath against my neck and see, but just barely, her chest rising and falling in her sleep. I'm not uncomfortable like this, but the rest of my classmates are staring at me, and it's kind of awkward. What should I do? Obviously, we're letting the baby stay like this. See, his hair brushes against my cheek and tickles my nose, but I don't want to. I don't make any comment. I can't bring myself to. I don't really want to wake her. Now I'm more con. I'm more content to see her sleep for the rest of my coach or coach journey. Go right against my shoulder. You can pretend to be annoyed about it when she wakes up. Really, I wouldn't be pretending, because I don't like telling lies, and being used to the pillow is kind of dehumanizing, isn't it? But in the end, no matter what I tell myself, I know I'm not really upset. If anything, I... I might be happy about our newfound closeness. Just a little bit. Holy shit, it's Goku, he's back! Yeah! So, uh, <clears throat> how was your trip? Did you have fun? We're seeing her in a different outfit. 
Yes, we found loads of berries. Look, look. As he holds out my wicker basket full of berries aloft, or shoving it into Dad's face. Wow, uh, you really did find a lot. That's impressive. Uh, Lucia, you're such a smart girl. <laughs> Can you think about misleading? I was the one who found all found those strawberries, not you. Well, I suppose so. Lucia has to see to look ashamed for a few moments anyway. But we've worked hard as a team, right, Rai? You're my partner, and that means whatever is yours is mine, and whatever is mine is yours. You didn't contribute a single thing to our so-called partnership. You just ate everything. Well, I, um... I'm sure Lucia tried her bet, her hardest, Rai. She didn't scold her like that. N no, um, it's alright. I'm sorry, Rai, I shouldn't have lied. I was trying to take the credit for your hard work. I just want to show off a little, because I'm so happy you managed to find so many delicious strawberries. Ah, uh, uh, um, I, I suppose it's okay then. If that really is how it is, then it's fine. Dad looks between the two of us for a moment, a small smile on his face. You two really do get along, don't you? W what do you mean? I thought you held grudges for long, for longer than that, Rai. But you forgave Lucy in a heartbeat. I know Yuki would, uh, wouldn't be that merciful. Whatever, I'm not my mother. That's so, so that's irrelevant. Well, maybe. I think you look more like me than your mother. That's for sure. The way you act, though, it's uncannily similar at times. He does. They do look. Yeah. It's the hair. It's, it's the hair on the mouth, but not much else. That frowns. Those kind of nostalgic. Is he thinking about mom? Maybe he's sad because she hasn't come home yet, even though it's already half, already half past six in the evening. That Sato guy must be working mom hard. She's al she's always out late nowadays, and she never has enough time to be better off the rest of the family. Dad tries to smile his troubles away, dodging himself and cooking or sewing to pass the time, but I know how effect I don't know how effective that is. He's been happier with Lucia around to pamper, but that's only a temporary solution to his troubles. What will happen to him when Lucia leaves? What will happen to me? I want to think about that. The thought is painful. Anyway, um, <clears throat> since we don't have, since we have all these delicious strawberries, it would be a shame to waste them, wouldn't it? That's exactly what I was thinking. I want to make these cute little strawberries into something really, really yummy. Strawberry cheesecake, strawberry pie, strawberry tart, strawberry milkshakes, strawberry daifuku. Strawberry mochi, strawberry pa panic. Is the last name on the list something you can eat? We have a hand in front of her glazed eyes. Lucia? Lucia, are you still with us? Strawberries are so tasty. I guess not. This girl has nothing but food on the brain. <laughs> well, it's nice that you're so enthusiastic about the strawberries, but... I don't think we have enough to make all those dishes. No way! Is that really true? Um, unfortunately. We'll make this one dish out of this, though. Uh, wouldn't you just like that? Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. In that case, I don't know that strawberry shortcake. I've heard about them before, and they're meant to be really good. Fun fact: strawberry shortcake is one of is literally every other game. Uh, autocorrect that comes up when I try to select strawberry vinegar from my stream description. Apparently there's just a lot of strawberry shortcake games. I thought that was fun. Fun fact. One of my sisters had a slice of strawberry shortcake once, and she said it was so good, so good eating, it was like falling in love. <laughs> and what about you, Rai? Did you make strawberry shortcake too? Hmm. I don't like this, like, strawberry shortcake, but I think it's a rather plain dessert. I've had strawberry shortcake several times before, so I don't have a case. as a strawberry shortcake. Let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, Google enlightened me. Yeah, shortcake generally refers for dessert with a crumbly, scone like texture. Low key, that looks really good. I'm not even like the biggest fan of strawberries, but I totally eat this. That looks, that looks banging. 
I would. Actually, I think I want to try something a bit, a bit more unusual. What? Right? You would betray me in my hour of need? Hey, I wasn't- I wasn't the one to pick all those straw- I was the one to pick all those strawberries. If I don't you get to decide what we make, it should be me. But- but the strawberry shortcake. It's so good it just feels like falling in love. What do you know about love? You're only a kid. Girl, you're also nine. I mean, so am I, but I like to think I'm mature for my age. You're not mature, you're just... What's the word? I'm not snobby, but it's close to it. You're just pretentious. But, but I love food more than anything in the world! I love I love more than blood that runs from my veins, the heart that beats within my chest! I may love food, but I don't love you. You got sick because you ate too much of uh, too much of it only yesterday, didn't you? I, I just miscalculated a little. Such a thing won't happen again. I promise. I don't want to be a burden on you on you any further, Rai. <laughs> For a girl who doesn't want to be a burden, she sure is stubborn about her stupid strawberry shortcake. Come on, girl, just let her have this. Um, you you need to do you, need, you don't need to disagree on such a simple matter. Can't we make both instead? You already said we don't have enough to, enough strawberries to make too many dishes, didn't you? Uh, uh, yes, I may have said that. You should go back on your word. It's not possible to please everyone. Uh, you've got to get used to that, even if you don't like it. <laughs> you really are wise, Rai. I feel like more of a novice compared to you. Maybe you are. Now, as you are obviously incapable of being an arbiter since you're too afraid of hurting people's feelings, I think I should decide what we should do instead. But you're clearly biased, Rai. So? So you might be my friend, but you're my opponent in this bitter and bloody battle. It, it isn't fair you get to decide what we do. So you say. These are my strawberries. I have a complete monopoly on them, and we're going to do what I want. What do I want? I'm the world's biggest fan of strawberry shortcake, but I'm pretty... But I... But am I petty enough to spoil this use fun? <laughs> oh, absolutely! Nah, it's not ruin or fun. I didn't know if spoils this use fun. I think I'm more mature than that. Oh, it looks so good! Thank you, Rai! You don't need to thank me. If you want to thank anybody, you should thank- it should be Dad. Since he did most of the work. Well, of course I'm gonna thank Kazuki. But, I wanna thank you too! Why? Because you let me- Because you let me make this adorable strawberry shortcake, even though you don't like it. It was very thoughtful of you. I glower, trying to quell the blush that I know is frightening to rise to my cheeks. I, I didn't do it for your sake. I just didn't want to argue about something so petty. It would be childish. I don't know if my half-hearted half rebuttal sounds particularly convincing. It doesn't seem to bother Lucia. She accepts my words unquestioningly, but with a good-natured smile. <laughs> what have you- what else? No matter the reason, I really am thankful, Rai. Alright, come on. Are we, are we gonna get- are we gonna get the food shot? I looked down at the floor, biting my lower lip. I think I'm an honest person, but when I'm with the sea, it becomes a lot harder to tell the truth. My heart is filled with complicated and contradictory emotions. I'm not sure which of them to believe. All of them? None of them? <sighs> I showed that I caved in to Lucia's demands, uh, because I didn't want to have a stupid argument. But that wasn't the only reason. No, <laughs> they're so adorable. My heart. I don't want to admit it to myself. At least all of, at least, uh, at least of all, Lucia. Something about her smell warms my heart. Lucia might be a demon, but she's still one of the sweetest pe uh, people I've ever met. She's the only person uh, who's ever tried to befriend me and not given up along the way. Is that why I agreed to make her a cake? That I feel indebted to her? I don't know if that's entirely right either. If my actions were born out of a sense of duty, then why do I feel so satisfied when I see her smile? Maybe I had some selfish motivations too. Most people do. 
everyone in this world is, is pushed along by their own greed. I don't think I'm any exception. Does that mean that Lucia's happiness is my own happiness? <laughs> oh, this sh my heart. So this is why I live. This is why I live for Yuri. It's just so sweet. I shift awkward. I don't think I've ever been this invested in someone else's well-being in my life, to tell the truth. It's a lot less concerning. I'm not used to it. Oh, the cakes look so cute. It's so adorable. I want to add I want to add it to my family registry. What are you talking about? This is hot in hell, wouldn't it melt? Hot? Isn't it meant to be cold in Norway? I don't have to go care. Oh, seriously, we're seriously not getting a food shot? Maybe it's cold in Norway, but that's nothing to do with hell. Health doesn't abide by the rules of the human realm. Be it Japan or Norway, the center of the Buddha Triangle. Wow, I had no idea hell was such an incredible place. I thought it was only a small village. It is a small village. Just ignore Lucia, Dad. She's spreading nonsense. I wouldn't want the poor people who live in the real village of hell, Norway, to feel better represented. A real place! Oh, this is a gag. Oh shit, it really is a it really is a town in Norway. Well shit, I stand corrected. If you're in a place that literally is literally called hell, must be difficult enough for people like Lucia so further uh, sullying their reputation. Now you're gonna eat your shortcake, we made it for you. B but it's so pretty, I'd feel guilty. Guilty gear? Like the guiltiest gear, Sullivan Badman? That's a first. So that's a little thing, question right, it's mark. But at the same time, it's so cute, I wanna cut it. I wanna cut it wide open and watch it ooze <laughs> kicky innards all over the table. <laughs> is, is that what people usually do to things they think are pretty? Maybe it's a common custom in hell. One of fire and brimstone, another one in Norway. I wouldn't be surprised. Can I cut the cake, uh, Kazuki? Can I? Can I? Of course you can. You're an important member of our, our team, too. Here you go. Trust the cake. Hmm. Well, she just stares down at the cake, knife in hand, frowning. Looks so like she's trying to figure out, uh, how hard to make sure each and every piece she cuts is perfectly equal. Which is a little unexpected. I don't know if Sia thought she'd take the whole cake for herself and leave everyone else to fade over the crumbs. I guess there really are some things uh, even she takes seriously. Those things being food, of course. Okay, there's our food shot. God, that looks good. Let's draw a short cake achievement. Let's see cuts for the soft sponge cake slowly. The sweet scent of cream hovering in the air, mingling with the tartness from the ripe strawberries freshly picked this morning. God, that seems so good. I swear to God, every like the like two weeks, like twice now, I've played this game and like the next like a few days later, annoyed my friends to bake something with me because it just made me so hungry. At first, it was first we made cookies, uh, and then we made pancakes. God, I might, I might rope the men to making something with me again. <laughs> the cakes are really good. I'm not a big fan of cake, but this might be enough to convert me. The layers of sponge are an inviting yellow, uh, light yellow, sandwiched between a thick layer of white cream and cut strawberries. Top of the cake is frosted with cream and pure, and a pure white sheet like fallen snow. Delicate little rosettes of cream have been taped around the edges, and sliced strawberries half nestled around them. Right! Here, this piece is for you! So he hands me a plate with a piece of strawberry cake on it. Not a very neat, it's not a very neat slice of cake, but it looks delicious all the same. Are you sure I can eat this? Of course I am! You're hardly, you're hardly going to wear it, silly. I know, but I... You were the one who wanted to make a cake. You should get the first slice. You're the one who made it. You deserve the first slice more, first slice more than anyone. Well, look away, Betty Mallow. Do we sound foolish? We might as well be a pair of lovers. 
uh, twittering to one another over the end of the f a phone line. You hang up first, no you. Ah, my face feels redder than ever. My cheeks are burning. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. I just thought you look your face looked a little funny, Rai. You have no right to call me f me funny when you're wearing an apron like that. Is there something strange about it? It's kind of gaudy, isn't it? But it's one of my favorites. They're all your favorites. Anyway, do you have something sensible to say, or do you just want to make fun of me? Well, um, I just thought maybe you and Lucia could compromise. If you share that slice of cake, you can both eat it first. Sh share it? The same slice? I look at Lucia, who looks at me. We blink. Then a white smell captures Lucia's lips. Her whole face sparkles. Of course we can share it. We are friends after all. That sounds like fun. H hey, wait a minute. It's embarrassing. Only couples share slices of cake like that. But that doesn't listen. He ends with Sia and Mia Fork, smiling. Alright, you two. Enjoy. You're a lot craftier than you look, damn old man. <laughs> I haven't been lived. Uh, I haven't been living with your mother all these years for nothing. Here I... What is it? I must have grown accustomed to my nightly chats with Lucia, because I don't feel uh, that once familiar twinge of annoyance that when she says my name. Has it become part of my routine? Talking to Lucia seems natural to me now. As natural as the strawberries growing in their fields. I had a really nice time today, Rai. It was really a lot of fun. That's good. I had a nice time too. You did? Really? Of course. Why wouldn't- why would I lie about it? I don't know. I thought I annoyed you. Really? You are a bit annoying, but I wouldn't- but you wouldn't be- uh, you, you wouldn't be you if you weren't. I can cope. <laughs> Thank you. Full silence deals over us. I set up in bed, the cover is falling from my body, and I look at Lucia. She's lying there in her futon, her ashen hair spread across her pillow. She stares up at the ceiling, her crimson eyes white and staring. She doesn't look like she's trying to get to sleep. Rai, I was thinking about something. What? I, um, well... Quite unusually, Lucia's the one who looks bashful now. I see the blush in her cheeks, even though the dark- even for the darkness of the room. Maybe we're both allergic to each other. I might explain why we keep turning red. I had so much fun these last few days. More fun than I've ever had in my whole life. Isn't that because you got to eat a lot of food? That, that's partially it, but it's not the whole reason. I'm not that greedy. Well, I wonder. I just, um... I think it's because I was a few, Rai. You may be a little stern and you scold me a lot, but... You only do it because you care about me. My big sisters are the same. My, sisters have, my big sisters have to love me because they're related to me, though. At least, that's what I think. It doesn't mean their love is worthless. And I love them a lot, too, but... Having a friend is a little different. It's not the same sort of love. I'm not used to it, and it's a little weird, but... I think it's love all the same, no matter what you say. I may be a demon, but I can still feel love, and I... I love talking to you, and being with you, and I just love you as a person. You really are my bestest friend in the whole world, in the human realm, and in hell. L Lucia, I blink, a little taken aback by the sincerity in her voice. Since Lucia is quite a silly person, bobbing along through life like a rubber duck in a bathtub, I never thought she could think about things so seriously. I must have been wrong. What can I say? Tell you, Sarah, you love her. Tell her! Well, I. I hold a hand to my chest. I feel my heart pounding beneath the thin fabric in my pajamas. In my pajama top. It's so loud, I wouldn't be surprised if we'll see I can hear it too. This isn't the first time Lucia's we'll professed her love to me today. She did it once before, back to on the coach. I was surprised by her sudden declaration at the time, but I didn't bring it up. Instead, I tried to ignore it. I ignored it because I didn't know what to say. I ignored, I ignored it. Uh, I ignored its drop because 
Uh, I was flustered and confused, and I thought it'd be easier to pretend that she hadn't said anything. But that was wrong, wasn't it? It was cold and callous of me. Osir's feelings are important, even if she can't, even if I can't understand them. And is there to be treated with respect? Well, it's true that Osir is still young. Maybe she really does love me. I don't have any right to deny her feelings. But where does that leave me? Lucia might love me. I still don't know how I feel about her. I like her, that's an undisputable fact, but... Uh, but is that the same as loving her? What does some loving someone even involve? I know there's a definition of love written in the dictionary, but that isn't good enough for me. I bet if I ask 50 different people on the street what love means, I get 50 different answers. But I don't care what the dictionary says, what 50 other imaginary people might say. What am I going to say? What do I think? I know it's normal for girls to get crushes on other girls when they're younger, but isn't that something you usually give away of? I sort of heard of it on TV, but it doesn't always work like that, does it? I don't know. I don't really get it, but... Lucia well, really is pretty. She, fashion she fascinated me from the very beginning, and she still does now. It's sure that she annoys me, and she exasperates me, and she tires me out, but there's more to it than that. I've enjoyed her company these last few days, and I don't want her to go back home. I can hardly stand to think about it. Is that what love is? Wanting to be with someone all the time, no matter what? It might be a flawed answer, imperfect for my lack of experience, but it's still an answer that I'm going to stick with. If that's what love means to me, then... Lucia, I... I, um... I... I... I think I might love you too. Rai? Only a little bit, though. I, I mean, I'm just still a kid. <laughs> I can't believe it. Rai said she loves me. Rai said she loves me. All of a sudden, with his delirious squeak, Lucia grabs hold of, my of one of her pillows and hugs it hard. Lucia said she loves me, she loves me. Yeah. Hey, keep your voice down. You're, not gonna you're gonna wake up mom and dad. It's not like I'm not happy about Lucia's reaction, but this is pretty embarrassing. I understand. How did I end up like, uh, liking this silly girl so much? It's more what it is full of mysteries. God. I really wanna- I really wanna finish it now, but I'm fucking done. I'm roasting. I'm very tired. My throat is killing me. So we're gonna have to leave the final day. We're gonna have to leave the final day until next week. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, lesbians are very cool. I'm unbiased. And I shall see you... Maybe Tuesday? No, not Tuesday. Maybe. Depends when I'm up. I'll see you at some point this week for my se for my uh my you my once a week unscheduled stream. Bye.